Tyler Corkman with us right now. Last time we saw him was at the family business. They were making bodies and all kinds of stuff in there, but he is here in his suit, ready to have some fun today. Gotta feel good to get back to the suit to get Tyler. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it might be a little tight, but uh, nothing velocity I can't help us with over there. Them guys are awesome, but uh, yeah, it's a nice sunny day here in Utica. Can't ask for much more. So the suit was a little, the zipper was a little tight today yeah, when we got bit. her on? This is an older suit, so you kind of expect that. Okay, the nice thing is, Velocity is right on Route 11, just north of the Speedway. Get a hold of Michelle Corsi, she'll get you all fitted up. I would imagine a lot of her suit sales are along those lines, oh, aren't yeah. they? Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> all right, so we got to get into race shape then, huh? <laughs> exactly. We're, I think 95% of us out here have to. Yeah, you're, so you're in building bodies and working on the race car shape, just not <laughs> yeah. actual yep. race car yep. shape. I see we do have American racers on the car. Are we going to be here? Uh, unfortunately, no. We're going to just be here for this opening weekend just to kick our season off. Uh, okay. We came here last year because you know, K&M doesn't really open yet. Uh, all the tracks near us don't really have the practices or anything, so come out here to test our luck once again. Okay, so this is the dirt car with Hoosiers, or yep, with, with American exactly. Racers. Yep, that's, gotcha. the, that's the only thing that's different right now. Were, were we going to race last weekend? Uh, yeah, we were. We were fully prepared to run both our 358 and Sportsman, but you know, Mother Nature, obviously this early in the yeah. year is definitely going to get the best of us. I kind of wondered about today, but it actually looks pretty good around here. Yeah, uh, it's actually not too soft. The grounds are actually pretty hard. Uh, yeah. Curi kind of curious to see what the track will do with all the place in, but it yeah. looks like they got it good right now. They do, and, and you can see, I mean, look at the pit area, right? I mean, that is not what I was expecting to see. And of course, this place has a pretty good reputation to be in one of the more consistent racing surfaces oh, yeah, yeah. around. this track is usually pretty good. I mean, usually they get done a little later, so usually when we leave k &M, we tune in here and watch the rest of the races. And, and they always put on a show. Matt Shepard, all them guys, Matt James, I can pay tell, you know, them guys definitely here. And of course the weather could be a little iffy this Friday. They might be, and this is just me thinking this, I wonder if they might go Sunday. Would you go no matter which day they run this weekend yep. just to get some laps? Yep, we have it planned out Friday or Sunday. Uh, in between we might go to K&M's practice if they have it. But other than that, we are sticking to our plan this weekend to come in here. Alright, so has this car been out? Nope, not okay. at all. Brand new everything. Oh, new, new everything. Okay. Yep. So for the first session we're going to be more watching gauges yeah. and you know oh uh, yeah definitely make smell sure everything's that together not... right all that yeah so when we come back from that first session do we actually take the hood off no matter what at that uh, point yeah we're going to check out a few things see if we need to bleed the brakes and make sure there's no air in the lines or anything and uh then we'll go from there and see if we can get a little bit faster with these guys here or what all right how important is it to set a fast lap today or is it um honestly for us not that important we're just okay. trying out a few things to see because Utica is kind of like can am so it'll kind of give us a baseline of what we can start off with at can am to hopefully have another successful year. Yeah, because they're both half miles. Well, of course, I guess can am is what, supposedly three-eighths now, I guess? Yeah, uh, they, they say that, but it doesn't feel like it. Well, which track is faster? Uh, I definitely feel like can am Okay, but this track tends to have more bite. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, the guys at can am they struggled with it last year a little bit. They let the water soak right in, so it was kind of fast. But Usually when that place gets nice and smooth, it's kind of just like it is here. Okay, so what's the weekly plan? Uh, as of right now, we're going to go to k &M on Friday nights and most likely Land of Legends again on Saturday. Okay, and how about series? Uh, yeah, for the most part right now, we have that planned out. Uh, if anything happens, uh, quarter pound, bad finishes, then we might rethink it. Okay, and of course uh, the 358, or is it big uh, block? It's a 358. Uh, whenever we feel like it, whenever we're at a go to a comfortable track, you know, we might go to full in on when Canada goes off, or maybe sometimes at Can Am or some series races. Uh, that's just kind of up in the air thing right now to see if that's what we're going to move to next year. Oh, well, good to see you. Hope you have fun. And uh, if you see him at the Velocity Shop, you'll know why, because I'm sure you're not the only one who's watching this going, you know, either I need to lose 20 pounds in a week or I need a new suit. So uh, so good luck with everything, man, seriously. Subscribe, uh, turn on the notifications, leave a like. But uh, they're going to get going here at Unicorn Row very soon. And again, he will be here this weekend.